Hello and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today I'm talking about using your E6B for high speed flight questions. So we are going to cover one of those and this video is sponsored by my friends at listener.io. So check them out. It is a completely safe online space to get counseling with a focus on specifically pilots. So check it out. There's a link in my description of the video and you can use my referral code for a discount. So let's look at how to use your flight computer to figure out true airspeed and Mach number if I have the temperature aloft. It is super easy to use one of these E6B metal flight computers to figure out my true airspeed if I have a given Mach number. This is really applicable when you're doing paper flight planning for aircraft dispatch testing or even for FAA knowledge test questions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn my wheel around until I start seeing, you can see a Mach number index showing up right there. And if I look at that Mach number index, all I need to do is actually line it up with the temperature that I get from my winds aloft at whatever altitude I'm flying at. So I'm going to do an example of that we are flying and the temperature is negative 55 degrees. Now for my dispatch class, I typically we do flight planning at Mach 0.74. So I line up my Mach number index with negative 55. That's my temperature I can get from my winds aloft. And then it's really simple. I'm going to actually turn the flight computer so it's a little bit easier to see. But I am going to then find on the inner scale whatever Mach number I want to flight plan at. And like I said, I usually use Mach 0.74. So 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I read opposite there. And on the outer scale, I am going to get my knots of true airspeed. So it's pretty simple. Um, if I count up, that would be 400, 410, 420. I would get about 429, 428 knots. And that's, that's it. That's how you can take your temperature from your winds aloft read on the inner scale, whatever Mach number you need, and then on the outer scale is your true airspeed associated with that temperature aloft. Thanks for watching today on Aviation 101 with Laura. Be sure to like and subscribe for more excellent aviation content. Have a good day.